Bonjour everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you guys my furnished apartment tour in Los Angeles. I moved from New York City to Los Angeles in November of last year, so a few months ago, and I've kind of been putting off filming this furnished version of the apartment tour because I never feel like it's fully complete. But today I decided that I was gonna do it. If you've watched my previous apartment tours in New York City, you'll notice that a few items are very similar or the same. We did travel with a few pieces of furniture, but we also got a a lot of new things and I'm in love with this apartment in this space. If you haven't watched my previous apartment tours, I'll put a playlist in the description box down below so you can check all of those out. There's also going to be a video that's the empty apartment tour of this place here so if you want to check it out to see a before and after. These things are down below but I'm just going to jump into the video without any further ado. Let's see this apartment. All right so per usual I'm going to start in the entrance. This is a studio slash junior one bedroom because the bedroom area is kind of separated from the rest of the apartment but it's technically one big room and then we have the bathroom right by the entrance so I'm gonna start there right here so I kind of always feel like the bathroom is the least interesting part to decorate or look at in an apartment tour but I'm just gonna go through quickly we have all of these um, towels and the bath mats are from restoration hardware they kind of match the wood the gray oak that we have right here so i think that looks nice then i just got recently these shelves from amazon they were super easy floating shelves that you just put into the wall and i put my perfumes and skincare stuff right here so that it's easier for me not to forget to do it the little plant that's on top of it is from target it's a fake plant i've decided to just jump into the fake plant train because i cannot take care of these plants and they're all dying on me <laughs> this little plant and this little plant are a gift from a friend who was moving out of los angeles and just gave me all his plants so there's a bunch of those around the apartments they're the only real ones and then we have this wooden hamper with two compartments so we can separate colors from white that's from the container store in the shop we have this shelf that's from the container store as well and then this little hook for your phone so that you can listen to music or just have your phone close by when you're showering and that's from Amazon once we come out of the bathroom you turn right and this is our living space it's about 1 p.m. right now the light is incredible we're in a corner unit facing west and south and we have an incredible view and incredible sunlight and I'm just in love with this but the first thing that you get into is the kitchen it's a beautiful kitchen that we've been loving it's super spacious especially for a junior one bedroom or studio we essentially based our whole decor and color tones throughout the apartment on these cabinets so you'll see that a bunch of places around um, I'm gonna go really quickly in the kitchen just because I know it's kind of boring stuff but some people always like to know where we get our stuff from so we have our Alexa right here and a charger guests usually jump on that as soon as they get here we have a Brita filter all of our appliances are from Amazon I believe and I'll put the link to those in the description box down below Here's another plant that my friend gave me. And then we have this utensil holder and this fruit bowl that are from CB2 that you will probably recognize from our previous apartment tours. This right here is just um, a bunch of stuff that I don't know where to put and it's just on standby right here. And then on the island, we have another plant that my friend gave me, this fruit bowl, and then this fake plant that is from Target as well. This island that we have in the middle is actually on wheels so we couldn't move it around. We put it in a spot that we like because it gives us enough space to walk around the island and doesn't really take up too much space. We also have stools that we have right here. We only got two because it's usually just two of us. They're this white faux leather that we got from Overstock. So then if I take a step back from the kitchen and you recognize the entrances over there, um, we have this little console area. This is basically the area where we put our keys and our wallets and all of our stuff when we get home. The console table itself is from Wayfair. It's the same wood as the kitchen cabinets. And then we have two pieces of art. This is from the night sky. You basically choose a night and place and they give you what the sky looked like that day. We have a BLM pride fist. The two frames are from Amazon. They have this fake plan that is from Ikea and then I just got a pot from Amazon and some white pebbles to just cover it up and make it look a little cuter. This little thing is actually from Burma and then we have a couple of coffee table books. This is one that my parents got me for Christmas this year and it's the sweetest thing. It's a book looking at one decade of pictures um, of just men loving each other and like gay couples etc. Um, at a period where it wasn't necessarily accepted. Um, was very touched by that gift. 
I cried a lot, but it's also really cute and it fits really well with the vibe of the apartment. These candles are from Restoration Hardware and I haven't even lit them up once. <laughs> we also have this big wooden lamp that is from Lowe's. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's from Lowe's and it's just white linen and this wood right here. And then this big round mirror is from Home Goods. Home Goods was my biggest discovery when we furnished this apartment because everything is honestly super cheap and they have really good material and the size of this mirror is great. So continuing with home goods, I'm going to go into the living room area, which is just at the back of the kitchen right here, kind of this little corner that we decorated to turn into our living room. So as I was saying, this big fake plant right here is from home goods. It looks great and it's also massive. Great price and it came in this little basket right there with the pebbles already. We also have um, Hugh Phillips light right there. We have a bunch of those lights throughout the apartment. Even the light bulbs on these lamps and the lamps that you'll see in the rest of the apartment are all Philips, which allows us to turn them on and off with Alexa and to change the colors, etc. so we can kind of change the vibe of the apartment. Sorry, what device? Doesn't always work. So then we have the rest of the living room area. This beautiful couch is from Restoration Hardware. We got it from the outlet, so at a great price. We had kind of a struggle to try and get it into the apartment because the first one we bought didn't fit and this one just fit like with that much space left through the door. So we're just happy that it fit in. It's this kind of cream off-white color. So it gets dirty kind of easily, but less than the white couch that we used to have in New York City. We didn't have a throw and a pillow that are from Scandinavian Design and that have followed us um, since our first apartment back in Berkeley. This rug is from Target. It's just a regular rug that's also an off-white color. And then that coffee table is from Wayfair. What I love most about this coffee table is that it actually has storage inside of it right there. This is where we just put our games for now. We're probably gonna like throw our blankets or lights or things that we need to access easily when we have people over. And this is the view you get when you're watching the TV from the couch. Don't mind the art over there. I still don't know where to put it, so it's just on standby. <laughs> In terms of the TV unit, we have this little thing that's from Ikea. You can either have it on the floor like we had it on our old apartment, or you can have it floating on the wall, which I think makes it look a lot cooler and also allows you to put lights underneath and make it look really floating. On top of that, we have this fake plant from Target, this Tom Ford book, and some candles from Byretto. We have our TV that's mounted on the wall with a little cable hider so that it's not too ugly and then this floating shelf from Ikea as well that's just wooden regular natural wood um, where we put our diplomas and some stuff that we got from our travels and yes the penis bong is still there <laughs> and then the last things that are kind of in the living room space are this full-size mirror from CB2 it's a little thinner just that it fits on this little part of the wall and then we have this fake plant that I got off Facebook marketplace and then the pot is just a basket that I got on Amazon and I put the same pebbles that I bought um, with a little bit of cardboard to even it out and then just makes it look cleaner and less ugly than the black little plastic that they put on fake plants. All right, so that's it for the living room area. Now I'm gonna move on to my favorite part of the space because it's the one that has most light and it's the bedroom slash desk area. So if you have the living room here, right here we have an empty space that I think we're probably gonna keep empty because it lets us breathe a lot and move around. We have this balcony that has no furniture on it yet, but it's January, so I'm giving myself some time to figure out what I want to put on there. With this beautiful view of Los Angeles, it's been super sunny and warm lately, so it really feels like summer. On the left of that, we kind of have the bedroom area. I was saying earlier that this is considered a studio because it's the same room, but because we have this wall, which is actually the closet on the bedroom side, it really feels separated. It doesn't feel like the bedroom is just right here, so that's amazing and that's why we kind of call it a junior one bedroom. So the space that I probably spent most time here is kind of this desk area that we have right in front of the window. It's pretty simple and honestly it's all I need. The desk itself is just a white wood desk with metal feet that is from Amazon. That chair which is my favorite thing in the apartment but it kind of takes a while for people to like it the first time they see it is this 
um, off-white chair from CB2 and a matching pillow that is from Target. So my little desk setup is basically just a monitor from HP, my computer, a bunch of cables. This fake plant is from CB2. This table lamp is from Amazon. It's like a gray faux leather. Um, with a little USB port and then my water bottle. That's one gallon of water. That's from Amazon. And as you can see, it's currently 1 p.m. And I'm very much behind. <laughs> this area is probably my favorite place because in the morning you get light coming from the east of the city over there. So you get it on the back and then as the sun progresses, it's kind of hidden over there right now. Um, throughout the day, it gets over there until it sits by those buildings, which is beautiful and it gets lots of sun. So I'm working all day and feeling super happy and grateful and get distracted by people outside. Behind the desk area is where the bedroom is. It's super drenched in sun right now. In the morning, it's not that bright because the sun comes over there. The bed frame itself is a white linen bed frame, super simple, that we got from Overstock. The rug is from Target. It's the same one that we have in the living room, but just in this tan uh, brownish color. We have these two nightstands over there on each side that are gray oak as well, and they are both from Wayfair. It was kind of difficult for us to try and find a bed and two nightstands that would fit in there because this is exactly 99 inches. Um, but we did it and it kind of touches the walls, but it fits perfectly. Then on each side we have a similar lamp that is white full leather from Amazon, these cute fake plants from Target, and I have Alexa right there. And then on top of the bed we have my three favorite art pieces that are by my friend Hamza. I'll put his Instagram in the description box as well. Incredibly talented and started doing prints. Um, so you can get those in your home as well. And the frames are just gray oak again and they're from Amazon. I also get that question a lot. Our mattress is gray. It's from Casper. Um, just like four of those pillows are from Casper as well. We've been sleeping great since we got that. And then all of the sheets and pillowcases are from Restoration Hardware. Um, I think this is from Target. I'm not entirely sure. And I guess if I turn around from the bed, we have this big mirror. This is the OG, the one that I bring into every apartment and that I probably have bought like six times. Um, since my first apartment in college. This is Ikea's full-length mirror. It's $120, which is super cheap compared to other mirrors, and it's gigantic and super wide. We also have this fake plant that is from Home Goods as well, I believe. Every time I post a picture here on Instagram, I get lots of comments about how it's not good for you to have a mirror by your bed. I'm sweaty. This sun is hitting. I'm like, oof. People always tell me that it's not good for you to have a mirror by your bed, but it's convenient and it's just really good for selfies and the light is great here. So I have it here. Haven't had any issue so far. We'll see if anything develops and I have to move it around. Okay, so I guess this is the end of this apartment tour. I try to make it as straightforward as possible, but if I missed any item or piece of furniture or there's anything I just didn't talk about and you want me to talk about, please let me know in the description box down below. I'm happy to answer and add some links. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little interior and to see my space. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of other apartment tours and knowing myself, I'll probably be moving soon. Please, please, no more moving. Please, no more moving. That's it for today's video, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.